Hi, everybody. My name is Ivan, and today we are very honored to have Mr. Chi Wunji, Lego designer from Denmark that's residing in Denmark with us. Hi, Wunji. Hello, Ivan. Hello. Thank you very much for having this interview with Singapore Prefest 2021. I'm sure there are many um, viewers that are very interested in the sharing that you have with us. And without further ado, I would like to invite you to have an introduction of yourself. Hi, Wunji. Yeah, please carry on. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Chi Wunzi. I'm from Singapore, and I'm currently working as a Lego senior designer in Billen, Denmark. I have been uh, with the company for about five years now. I started off with the superhero team and then eventually got moved to the IP team. I have worked on projects such as um, Lego Ideas, Superheroes, Overwatch, Minions, Harry Potter and Jurassic World. Um, some of the sets that you might be familiar with includes the Lego Ideas Grand Piano, the, the Hogwarts Clock Tower and the Hogwarts Express. I'm very honored and excited to be here. It's very unfortunate that I cannot be there physically um, because it would have been amazing to be home and to be meeting all of you. Definitely. We totally agree that we would really love to invite you to Singapore, back to Singapore and to see you in person. And the fans in Singapore would definitely love to see you in person as well. And the sets that you have mentioned, I have most of them other than the piano because of the price point wise is slightly expensive in Singapore. But one day I will be looking into having it as well. So thank you for the sharing. Let's go on to the next question. Out of all these sets that you have designed, I'm pretty sure there's one particular set that, you are, that is your favorite. And we'd like to know why this set is your favorite. Well, my favorite set, it's definitely going to be the, the recently released um, Batmobile Tumblr Scarecrow Showdown. This has a very long name. Um, if I'm going to design only one set in my entire career, this will be the set. That is because the Tumblr was the very first mock I've made back in 2014 as an A4. Um, as you know, the Tumblr wasn't exactly the easiest car to replicate with Lego bricks. Mm. So it was rather daunting task for me at the time since I was just a beginner and uh, I, I really didn't have much experience building with Lego. Uh, in the end, it took me a long time just to finish the model. Uh, it was at the time when I first learned about the Lego Digital Des Designer Program uh, in which I can build freely without having to physically own all the bricks. Um, it was also at the time where I first learn about BrickLink, where I can purchase loose bricks for my creations. Um, I also joined many of the fan community and got to know some brick friends. And that's where we started this group, Titans Creation. Uh, back then, I was working as an architect and I have a very young family. So I don't really have a lot of free time. I ended up having to wake up at four o'clock in the morning every day, just so I get to work for about two to three hours before getting, getting to work. Um, thinking back, that was a little bit crazy, but definitely worth it. After completing the model, I even submitted it to Lego Ideas, which unfortunately did not get the 10,000 votes needed. I did, however, develop a very, very strong passion for Lego, uh, which is what led me to apply for this job um, eventually. So ever since I got here, I've brought the model from my home um, and, and sort of put it among all the other sketch models in the office, you know, um, kind of hoping that one day maybe someone might think it's a good idea to release it as a set. Um, eventually, as you know, we released the 89 Batmobile followed by the 66 Batmobile. So I was having quite some high hopes there. And you can imagine how excited I was when it finally happened. Uh, when I was developing the model, it, it triggered many of the feelings I had when I was first designing it. Um, I basically have to redesign the whole car because many of the solutions I came up with as a fan uh, just wouldn't pass the Lego standards. Um, what I used to thought was a very accurate representation 
um, just really didn't seem that way now. So, for example, like the side of the car needed to be sort of angled outwards, um, or the front of the tire of the car is just a little bit too small. Um, luckily, I have gained a little bit more of design experience, and uh, I'm, I'm fairly happy how it turned out. Uh, seeing the box in store now and holding it in my hands and knowing that there are people out there enjoying the build really means a lot to me, and it brings back a lot of memories. I guess the same set really brings back a lot of memories for, for me as well, because I recall that's how I get to know you. I actually approached you on Lego Ideas, and that's how our friendship started. If you recall, I think that's back in 2014, is that correct? Yeah, I, I think back then uh, there wasn't a lot of um, Singapore's uh, submission on Lego Ideas, and I, I, I was... Uh, I was also watching your submission at the same time. I remember the- uh, Yeah, we were, we, were just, we were just looking out for each other. And I also observed that you have a list of designs that, um, sets, sets of design that you have on the brick set. And for this particular tumbler, one of the challenge that, or one of the, one of the um, maybe behind the scenes story is that the three windscreen story. Maybe you can share a little bit more on this story. Yeah, the, the original um, element that I used for the windscreen was also the same element I used in my mock, um, which though has a really interesting shape uh, for the car. It, it only has two studs for connection. So it wasn't really giving me the clutch we need. Um, and it was during one of the casual discussion with uh, the design master, Mike Saiki over here, uh, that he kind of joked and said, wouldn't it be funny if we try to cram three windscreen in there? Because the windscreen that he's talking about also gives um, the right angle to the windscreen. And uh, it, it was just a joke that he mentioned and, and he find it, uh, he was laughing about it. But uh, imagine our surprise when I try to put it in and it turns out that's the actual solution we, we went for. Does it happen often, sometimes when the solution is just started as a joke for other designs? It, it happens a lot. Yes, that's, that's very, very common where you're just having a discussion with a fellow designer and someone might just give us suggestions and that turns out to be the way to go. Um, and, and that's one of the best part working here. It's, it's, you always get to talk to people about things and people are always willing to share. So. Yeah, often a solution to a problem can easily be just a very casual discussion among designers. I see. I can really imagine all the synergy uh, with all the different designers coming in together to design a particular set. That's, a, that's really something that um, as a fan, as, as well as someone that is doing a lot of mock, uh, look forward to. Yeah. So thank you for the sharing on your favorite set. I guess the next question that we would like to check in with you is, what is your favorite element, Lego element that you always put into your set? Um, well, I, I know there are designers with certain favorite elements that they really like to work on. Uh, but for myself, I don't really think I do have any particular favorite break. Um, this is because but when I'm working on a model, I tend to use whatever that best suit what I'm trying to achieve. Since every model is different, I tend to approach them very differently. Uh, very often, I even find myself using certain elements that I might not have even used before. And I think that's what makes it fun. You know, um, It's the joy of discovering a new way of building or, or finding a new solution uh, to a problem. Back to what we talked about just now, um, you know, Often you're just talking to someone and a solution, a, a solution just presents itself. And that's, that's the joy. Um, especially working in the IP team, I really enjoy finding you know, that one piece of elements that look as close as possible to the source material. And usually that would be that one piece or, or my favorite piece in that model. So with that in mind, I, I don't think I will ever have just one particular favorite element, you know, um, depending on the model and depending on what I want, uh, 
I think the solution would be what I'm very happy with. Uh, having said that, I do think some of the decorative elements are very interesting. Uh, for example, the two by two or two by three plate with bow. Um, this is because they have a very unique shape and contour that you don't normally otherwise see in other Lego bricks. And not only that, they are among the few elements that are two plate high. So I find them very useful in situation where you may need the height, but you don't necessarily want to stack two plates together because we all know how difficult it is to try and remove two plates of the same size and the same shape tightly stacked together. Well, there's always a brick separator. If you <laughs> if one is not enough, you can use two. If that helps. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your sharing. I guess the last question we want to check in with you, uh, which is our Singaporean favorite pastime as well. What is your favorite Singapore food that you probably will be missing right now? Um, well, uh, it, it's, it's very difficult just to pick one, uh, honestly, because I like so many of them. I mean, um, whenever I visit a hawker center back then, you know, I like to order many different things uh, and so that the whole family can try and share them. And I think that's, that's what's great, you know, it's the variety and the options uh, of the Singapore food that, that we, can, we have. Um, every time my colleague here asks uh, what is so special about Singapore or what would I recommend to them if, if they ever visit, uh, I always say the food, you, you have to try all our food. Um, and that's what I really miss, you know, uh, all the options and the varieties and the choices and the affordable prices especially the convenience, you know, how conveniently you can just walk downstairs and buy dinner if, you're, if you don't feel like cooking or if you have no time to cook at all. Um, so, I, I mean, it's, it's, if I really, really have to pick one, I, I go for spicy food, you know. Um, I can never go wrong with spicy food. I like spicy food. And mm -hmm. I think uh, at this point, you've made me really miss Singapore food. <laughs> I'm sorry, I probably will. Okay, the, the reason why we were asking you this question is, of course, when you when we are looking forward to 2022, when you can come back to Singapore, hopefully, we'll be bringing you to your favorite hawker center to really enjoy all the different Singapore food that we can actually bring you to. So that's why we are asking you this question. But at the same time, yes, I agree that it, it's probably triggering some, triggering some homesickness uh, which is not the reason why we want to ask you this question, but definitely we will be looking into bringing you to all your favorite food places in Singapore when you are back here. Yeah, I look forward to that. And uh, whenever I go home, I, that's what I do. I, I never miss one of those uh, opportunities. Yeah, definitely. Okay, with that, thank you so much for having this interview with Singapore Prefest 2021. Is there any parting words that you have for our audience today? Um, well, uh, I will have to say something that's really, really cliche, uh, but you know, as cliche as it might sound, it, it's true. Uh, I like people to not give up on their dream, uh, consistently work towards it, even if it's just little by little, uh, keeps believing in it, you know, so that you will be ready when, when opportunity shows itself because that was what I did. So for those who are listening to right now, if your aspiration is to be a Lego designer like Wunji, do listen to his advice. Keep going at it. One day you might become a Lego designer in the future. So thank you very much. And we hope to see you. you in the future. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.